Hi, my name is Bruno Ebe, and I'm really excited to guide you along this tutorial about impact dust volumetric. Simulating clouds of dust and rendering them correctly can often be a challenging task for effects artists. So in this course, we will go through this process and highlight its key parts, from optimization to refining, and from controlling your simulation to automating your iteration process. We will get familiar with DOPS and build our own network from scratch to have a better understanding and control over our workflow. A good part of the tutorial will then cover the emission, which I think is key in a good simulation. We will see various methods to avoid stepping, one of the most common issues with fast-moving emitters. We will also extract data from the rigid body animation to procedurally control the amount of density and velocity emitted in our smoke object. We will then see how to use and layer microsolvers to further control our simulation and learn how to build masks with custom fields to precisely modify relevant parts of our velocity field. Lighting and rendering with Mantra will also be covered and we'll learn how to shape our volume and reveal its finer details with a few lighting settings. We will also study Houdini's pyro shader and the key parameters to help us further control the look of our smoke and we'll cover the very important part of volume sampling from theory to practice. We will then learn how to extract useful information from lights and simulation fields to build AOVs, shadow paths, as well as technical passes for compositing. We'll also take advantage of this workflow to learn the procedural dependency graph that has been introduced in Houdini 17.5. We'll build a top network that will automatically cache your emitters, simulate, render, comp, and have a movie ready to submit to dailies the next morning. Automating your workflow will greatly help you in your iteration process and reduce the time you spend managing renders. And lastly, we will adapt our setup to retakes and changes of art direction. This will give you a good idea of what to expect from real shot production and should help you prepare your own workflow anticipating any last-minute changes. Thank you, and I hope you enjoy the course.